Welcome to day 93 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna have a look at five different styles that you can animate now with Webflow interactions using variables. So we're gonna set variables, then we're gonna animate them on the Webflow interactions panel. Let's have a look at this. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. So today we're gonna have a look at five different styles that we can animate now with variables on Webflow interactions. I'm using Bricks templates. I'm using their library here on layout. So you can check out the library. I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Uh, this is again for educational purposes. So let's start with interaction number one, which is box shadow. So now you can interact with box shadow on the Webflow interaction. And how we do that is as such. So for example, I have this nav bar and I want this nav bar to be sticky from the top so that it's always there. But then I want it to have a box shadow when it's, you know, as soon as we scroll. So let's do that. So first I will add a box shadow. So let's add a box shadow, just something random. So let's see this. Yeah, something like that. And, and then let's save this color as a variable. So this will be box shadow animate nav. And let's set this up to be transparent. And now on Webflow interactions, we'll have a page trigger because we want this on while page is scrolling. So we'll have a trigger, we'll set up a new interaction, we'll call this navbar box shadow. And we will have the action to be set variable value. So this is the value, this is the variable box shadow animate nav. So at the beginning, it's transparent. And then let's say at 1%, the same variable will be, say, black with 15% opacity. So let's check this out. So we see as soon as we scroll, we get this box shadow. So this is animation number one that you can now do using variables. The next one is border radius. So for example, I have this picture and I want to have this picture to be a circle as well whenever I hover over get started. So let's see how we do that. So first I'm gonna set this to be in square and I'm gonna set it to cover. And then, so basically what I want is to increase the radius and that will be, for example, I will have uh, 20 rems, 25 rems. How much is this one? 30 rems. Okay. We can have 30 rems. And at default, it's let's say two rems, three rems. Right? Okay. So now, whenever I hover here, this will animate as such. So let's do that. So let's add an interaction here mouse hover. Uh, no, first let's. So first let's give this a variable. So let's create this variable, we'll call it border radius hero image. And then we go to interaction, we go to the button because that's where we wanna add the interaction. It's a mouse hover interaction. We'll create a new one, we'll call it hero image round. And this will basically will set variable value. And this is the value that we want to set. So it starts at three RAM, set as initial state, we'll duplicate, and it will be 30 RAM. When we hover, let's give it an animation. And then when we hover out, it just goes back to normal. Let's do that. So basically it goes back to the initial state. Let's turn this off. Let's put this to be out court. So let's check this out. So now whenever I hover here, you see this, this image is turning to a circle as well. Cool. Another thing we can animate with variables is some typography settings. So for example, if say I want to uh, change some, some settings in this title, say I want to give it some letter spacing, 
0.1 rem and maybe a stroke line stroke let's copy this color let's remove this link and let's add a new variable call it stroke color and this one will be letter spacing and say animate card of course it's good to have them named well so that you can refer back to them so let's set, let's set this at zero uh, this color to be um, transparent for now and then we will do is we will add a mouse hover animation whenever card hover then happens we will set some variable values to different stuff so the stroke color to be the color we had and it's this one and the other thing was letter spacing so this will be say 0 0.1 rem and this will happen when we hover so you see like it's it's doing that now this is not the best thing ever but i'm showing you the possibilities of how how much you can do with variables so let's say I want to refer, revert back here, transparent, transparent. And then here we want to refer back to zero rems. And if you can look, it's doing that weird animation. Um, next, we can animate gradients. So for example, I want to have this to turn into a gradient whenever I hover over it. So let's do that. So first I will add the gradient colors so say i want this to be uh what what colors do we have no i don't want to link it to a variable i want to get this blue for example and then the other one will be this blue yeah so whenever i hover over this it will change to this colors so let's set these as variables. So these, this will be gradient card. So gradient, let's say gradient one. Uh, of course, this is just for the sake of doing this for faster for the video, gradient two. So now we know gradient one, gradient two. And now we can, let's say, set it both to be the same color, which is this. So now it's the same color. And once we hover over it, so what we want to do is once we, let's say, once we hover over, get started, that would be nicer. Start the animation gradient. Let's see. So we set the variable to be gradient one to be, what was it? Where was it? It was the hover of this color. I just want to get that color. So it's this color. Let's go back to interactions. Uh, gradient. So gradient one will be this color and gradient two will stay the same. And then on hover out, it will just go back to being normal. Blue as before. So let's put that. Good. All right, let's check this out. So whenever I hover here, has this gradient which is really cool uh, the last thing we can animate is border width let's say I want to have more border width here so this is also same same concept uh, say the border width you set it up wait I'm setting up for this one yes for the input so the border width border um, subscribe and then the color as well to change so the color is black or not black let's say yeah we're using this color let's use this color all right and if let's say we have this to be uh, 10 not 10 3 
this is good okay so we will set this up from zero to three when we get to this section so when we hover over this section basically uh, we'll start an animation subscribe line width and that will basically set variable value and this will be three pixels and on hover out this will go back to zero pixels so let's give this uh, an initial state all right so when we hover here you see the border width it's bigger it's super slow though but that's the idea so that's what you can do with variables now on webflow thank you for watching the video i hope i taught you something today make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of webflow journey see you tomorrow